The 4-H Archery program uses whistle commands, and if you are new to 4-H Archery, or even if you're not, you need to know these commands. To whistle blast means get bow. Get your bow and walk carefully towards the shooting line. Stand with one foot on either side of the line if there is a line on the ground. Keep your bow on your toe. So if you have a compound bow, you will want the cam on your shoe, or if you have a recurve, you will want the tip of the limb on your shoe. And always keep your arrows and your quivers and fingers off the bowstring. One whistle blast means fire. Knock your first arrow and shoot at the target. Typically, you will have about five arrows to shoot. When you're done, you will want to step back, place your bow on the rack, and wait for all the other archers to be done shooting, and wait for the whistle blow to, that lets you know that you can go retrieve your arrows. Three whistle blast means retrieve your arrows. Walk, walk, walk. I can't stress that enough. There is absolutely no running in archery. Not at all. So you want to walk, don't run, and carefully go retrieve your arrows. There is only one archer at a time to pull arrows and make sure there is no one behind you or that people are at a safe distance so that when you pull your arrows no one gets hurt or is stabbed by the knock. But if you are at a competition, you don't want to touch anything. You don't want to touch the target. You don't want to touch the arrows. Because if you do, the judges, if they see you touch anything, they will count it as a zero. So just leave it, and when they count up the scores and give you the okay to pull your arrows, you can pull them. But you always want to count your scores with the judges because there, people make mistakes and there might be differences in scores and you can't argue a different score once you have already pulled your arrows so just make sure that you agree with what they give you before you pull your arrows. Four or more whistles in rapid succession means cease fire, cease fire. This means that there is a dangerous condition and you want to stop shooting even if you are about to shoot an arrow and you already have it knocked and drawn back you want to let down the bow and stop everything. And I'm not joking when I say this. You really want to stop everything. You want to place your arrow back in the quiver and put your bow on your toe. Then you want to wait for a signal to resume shooting once the problem has been resolved. And anyone who detects a potential unsafe condition or unsafe condition can call a cease fire. So if you're out in the woods shooting and you see something moving, you can call a ceasefire because it might be an animal or a person and you don't want to shoot and potentially injure something. Let's do a quick review of this video. So two whistle blows means get bow. One whistle blow means shoot. Three whistle blows means retrieve your arrows. Four or more rapid blows of the whistle means cease fire, cease fire, and just completely stop what you're doing. Archery is a really fun sport, and if everyone knows how to be safe and all the safety procedures, it just makes it even better. So thanks for watching, and make sure to memorize and know these whistle commands, because they are important. Bye!